Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It is, it's, it's pretty freaking cold today. So <laughs> I'm gonna go run out and grab Storm. And today we're going to be working on standing, just staying put. So just a little tutorial on how to teach your horse to stand. So I'm gonna go get him and try not to freeze. Here's our cameraman, love, lovely Pivo Pod. Storm's taking a pre-training snack break. He's got a bunch of energy, so we're gonna start with just a little warm up up and down the hill. In the cradle's profanities, I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross. The ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe Okay, so the first step, good boy, to teaching your horse to stand is to pick a word. Now you could use stand, but I'm actually, I've just randomly decided that I would like to retrain Storm in Spanish. Why? Because I'm Spanish. So, I'll do another video on retraining your horse, a bunch of new commands. Because it can be really fun. You could like teach your horse to stop every time you say pickle. That'd be really weird, but it'd be really funny. So I'm gonna ask him to pick his head up. Oh, good. Now, Storm, get up there. Get up there. Very nice. Get up there. Oh, get up there. Good boy. I'm gonna let him eat grass. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> so, you saw I just used my lead rope, gently holding it up next to his face. So I didn't wanna, you don't wanna pull your lead rope towards you, you just wanna hold it right up next to their face to help them understand, okay, I'm supposed to stay right here. And then we'll make a circle. Do it again, and I'm gonna use the new command for. Well, I don't remember what it is. I'm gonna use pas, pas, which means peace. Pas. Good boy. And you see to get him to stop. Maybe you didn't see, but I just put my arm right in front of his nose. Now I'm gonna move him over here so you can see but I want him sideways. There we go. Now you see, you drop the end of my rope because it's a lot of rope. It's very good. He likes to be right next to me. You see, he does tricks. He's offering some tricks. So, get up there. Good boy. I'm gonna wait for him to turn his head away from me because I don't want him to be at me and nudging for treats because then he's not really understanding the assignment. We're gonna, yes, very good boy. We're gonna try again. Oh. Now he, was, he wants to do a Spanish walk because he knows that'll get him cookies, but we're not doing that. Quédate. So I'm just lightly pulling his head, just very gently. Quédate. No. Quédate. Good boy. And now because he's doing really well with that, I'm just gonna let go and I'm gonna just put my hand in the air. Quédate. Wait for his nose to move away from my hand. I know his butt's moving. That's okay. Quédate, I want your head the other way. Quédate. Good boy. Good boy. As long as you're in an area that isn't spooky, because you can see we're not in a fenced area right now. We're just out between the fields. So if you have a horse that's spookier, I would rec... I'm just gonna let him go over there. If you have a horse that's spookier, I would definitely recommend going in a fenced area. That way, if they get scared of something, they can't really go anywhere. Storm isn't very spooky, so I'm, and he already knows this a little bit, and his come and his woe are pretty good. And for come, you see that I whistle and then he comes. I'm gonna do a video on that. If you want, if you want to learn how to teach your horse 
to come to you when you call them, whether it's their name, a whistle, or whatever other weird sound or noise you want to make. I can definitely do that. And another just a little tip, since we're working with a long line, since I'm in the grass, I don't want them to have to be working the whole time. If you just keep going, like stand, treat, stand, treat, stick no. <laughs> Your horse is gonna get bored and they're gonna get upset and they're not gonna learn as much. So I'm chatting over here. You could chat to a friend or admire a tree, <laughs> something. But just train for a couple seconds, give your horse a little brain break. It's like, don't run over my camera, I see you. And while you're letting them have their brain break, which is another one of the really helpful things for your long lead, which what I have is a star point, horse, blah, 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 star point horsemanship lunge line, blue one. And he's actually decked out entirely in star point horse, horsemanship or star point company. He's got his star point blanket, star point dinosaur halter. <laughs> And we have this one. And then this clicker is from Amazon. And the treats are from also Amazon. Um, but when you're letting your horse take their little brain break, don't knock over my camera. Why, why do you have to eat grass right under the camera? Thank you. Good boy. You just want to watch your lead, make sure they're not stepping on it. And you could let your horse just like, like see how sometimes he kind of just walks around. And another reason, I just let him do this is because he's not going to drag me and like if he were to if I pick up someone's talking to me <laughs> pick up Storm hey you paying attention good boy and like let your horse take a little break not like a super long break and don't let them completely stop paying attention to you you want them to keep paying attention to you because you don't want to have to continue to re-grab their attention every time, but they don't have to be, good boy, entirely paying attention to you. Quédate. Good boy. And the word I'm using is just stay in Spanish. So since he already knows this, we're going to move up a couple steps, but you basically just keep repeating every step until your horse is good with it. Now, he, very nice. I know, he's getting confused now. He's like, I'm still standing, where's my cookie? But you keep your hand here, and then you can move your hand here. Oh, and now I'm gonna drop my lead. Quédate, quédate. And I'll keep my hand here. Good boy! That would be your next step, is get them to stay with the lead on the ground. Quédate. Now I'm gonna back up, which always makes Storm wanna come with me. Quédate, quédate. Ah, ah, quédate. Ah, ah, ah. Good boy. Quédate. Good. Now, he took a little step there, but that's okay. He's still learning. I'm shout. I'm telling him a random word in Spanish. I don't expect him to know it. Now, I'm going to try. Basically, you just stay near your horse so you're close enough to grab the lead. Quédate. Good boy. Now, you want to click once they move their face away from you. Now, yes, you want them to pay attention to you, and you see he's still paying attention to me, but if he's over here, he's reaching for a cookie. So, quédate, quédate, pop, pop, quédate. And you want the horse to learn that when your hand goes over here, just like when you have the lead, good boy, that that's when you're telling them to stay. Storm, quédate, quédate. Now, I know. Now, he likes to face me, because you see he's paying attention. Don't get mad at your horse if they're turning... I know, turning to face you. That's good, that means they're paying attention. Ow. We're gonna take a little trick break because as you can see, he really wants to do some tricks. So we're gonna do some tricks for a couple minutes. And I'm actually just gonna hold this here. It's really hard to maneuver with my gloves. <laughs> they're floofy, but my hands are called the storm. That's all right, hush.
gonna try to move over behind the camera. My finger is stuck in, my hands are stuck in my pocket. Boy. Now this can be a little confusing, but when you first move further away from your horse, this is when the long line comes into place. Hey, you itchy? You itchy? Okay, that day. Oh. Oh. Okay, that day. Let me put it in my other hand. No, I'm just gonna gently bring him in a circle. I'm gonna back him up. He's still learning. He's not trying to be bad, he just doesn't understand. Which is why, now I didn't start with teaching Storm to stand when I brought the, when I brought the clicker into our training. I started, good boy, uh-uh. That's another trick. You gonna kick me? He kicks on command. He's not being an ass, he's just sassy. <laughs> and he didn't, hit me. He's, I have a very sassy horse. <laughs> so, and I let him do that. It's a horse of whinnying. No, that was a bird. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, but I would recommend starting, this is so out of order. I would recommend starting with, <laughs> Storm, you're confusing the bevo. Starting your clicker training with teaching your horse to stand. That way they understand right from the get-go they will be rewarded for being calm. I didn't do that with Storm, so you'll see he follows me a lot more than your horse might. But he's not being bad, he's just spicy and energetic. Now he's had a little brain break and I've talked in a circle. <laughs> I'm smart, I just also really talk in circles. So <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I just apparently don't know how to phrase it into a sentence. And for some reason I'm out of breath, I'm gonna blame it on the cold. Storm, Storm, good boy. Oh. Get up there. Oh, we're looking at a horse coming. Get up there. Good boy, very good. That's extra good, because a horse is moving. There's a horse over there. Now I'm gonna start doing this to lead looser and slowly back up. Get up there. No, no, get up there. Uh-uh, get up there. Good boy. And you'll see he really wants to follow me every time I back up. Get up there. So I'm gonna reward him for not following me. Get that day. I'm just wiggling my lead so he knows he's supposed to stay. Good boy. And it might be confusing with the horse, especially if you're no. We're gonna stay right here. Get that day. Good, good boy. That was very good. That was the first, <laughs> the furthest we've gotten so far. So he's earned himself another little brain break. You'll see. I just train in really, really good boy short little chunks because I don't want them to get bored because I mean anyone hi who's gone to school knows if you keep doing homework and you start getting bored or you keep studying and you start getting bored you're trying to learn something getting bored you're not learning anymore you're just annoyed and the <laughs> he looks disheveled because his mane won't stay in his blanket <laughs> that's okay it's cold hi boo bear hi so I just want to make sure each time we train, because especially with Storm, Storm doesn't like to stand still. Which is why you'll see I praise him a lot every time he does stand still. Standing still is like his least favorite thing. Especially if I have cookies. If I have cookies, he wants me right next to me because he wants to know, is she asking me to do something? Is there something I can do to get a cookie? So, he's also anxious, so. I don't know, I'm choking <laughs> on my own spit. But my point, is that Storm doesn't like to stand still. So if you have a horse like Storm that doesn't like to stand still, you reward the tiniest little efforts. And it might seem like you're not getting anywhere yet, but you should have to just have a little patience. And I know patience is hard, but you just wait. Don't step on your lead. Turn the other way. Good boy. And just slowly, slowly get further and further because the, ah, don't step. The real point of this is for your horse to learn Whatever word you chose means stay put, stay right there. And when they get better with it, we can do a higher level of this where you have your horse stand and then you like do some desensitizing, <laughs> I can't speak. Do some like spooky things like throw a ball, wave a balloon, have a bag, have a bag, wave a bag, 
or something. But the first first is teaching your horse that the word that you have chosen, whether it be quédate or, and I know, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, or I'm pronouncing it funny. It's I'm Spanish, and for whatever reason, the weather is making me choke on my spit, <laughs> so I can't speak in English or in Spanish right now. But yeah, just very very little steps. And you'll see I fished the pocket, fished the pocket out of my tree, fish the tree out of my pocket before I go to ask Storm to do anything. And usually you wanna do it after, it's just these gloves make it really hard. So I get it, I get the treat before I ask him for anything. <laughs> Cause it's really hard to get the treats out with these gloves. Well, that's, that's, so that's why I'm doing that. Ooh. Hey, are you listening? Storm. Away. See, I fish, fish in my pocket. You see, I'm striking. I can't, can't get them. Oh, 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 good. Get that thing. And just the tiniest little effort. Like even you just say it, and then your horse isn't moving when you say it, then they get their cookie. I'm fishing out another cookie. I swear. I'm gonna let him turn because he's just learning this. He doesn't need to stay still the whole time. And look, now he's gonna keep himself still. Okay, that thing. Good. Very good boy. And he can look around, he can look left, he can look right. And some people might choose to back up their horse. He thinks I'm asking. You wanna see him kick? Cha. Good boy. <laughs> My horse kicks on command. It's a very dangerous trick, I know, but it's so much fun. Now now he's excited. Now he's going to do it again. Ah, oh, that was my arm. That's okay. He gets nervous. Like I said, he thought maybe I was going to like, I don't bump him, but I don't know. He thought he's got anxiety. He gave me a little nip. I'm not going to react to it. I'm just, oops. My arm got in the way of his teeth. He opened his mouth and hit my arm. Too bad. but he's, he's a little nervous so about it so little steps I know he says mother give me more I know again he's not trying to hurt me he's just a sass monster so now he's got some energy I've got him a little riled up you can see he's he's very energetic he's pretty chill and he's very sweet and gentle and careful but he is very much a rough and tumble little monster right are you my monster you my monster? Monster! Come here. Let me wipe your eyeball. I didn't wipe it earlier because he doesn't like it. Okay. My eyes open the first reality. Why can't you just let me eat my weight and glee? I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days. Sometimes I can't tell. Good boy. Now I think I'm running out of cookies, so we're just gonna train for a couple more minutes. Yeah, I have two left. So we're gonna do one more stay for the camera. I almost put my gloves in my, I can't speak, my cookies in my glove. Okay. I can't get my glove back on. My nose is running because it's really cold, I'm sorry. <coughs> Don't mind me, just choking over here. Okay, we're gonna do one more stay for the camera. So, come on, Storm. Oh, very good boy. Boss. Quédate. Quédate. Good boy. Very good boy. And that's enough for today. And I wouldn't, you could do like a 10 minute training session just 
10 minutes even every day or you can do 10 minutes twice a day just not super long because you don't want your horse to get bored with you or annoyed with you like if someone sits there and asks you the same thing over and over and over and over grass get about there you're gonna get really annoyed with them you're gonna be like leave me alone hi boo bear hi he knows I have another cookie but I'm so, I'm so out of breath. But anyhow, I hope even though I talked in circles a bit, you learned something and you know how to teach your horse <laughs> to, to stand, how to start doing it. And how to, yeah, how to get the, ooh, wow, birds. <laughs> Best for <respect. laughs> He says, mom, you're doing a terrible job. I know. I'm gonna bite my face because I can show. Oh, thank you. So yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know if there's anything you saw Storm do that you want to know how to do. Maybe I'll try to come up with a script ahead of time. Because as we can see, my brain is like, it's empty. It's empty. It's so full of things that it's empty. So yeah, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, look at my fluffy sassy monster who has kicked me in the box. Who kicked me in the butt while we were filming? Did you see it? Comment down below if you saw, if you saw him kick me in the butt. My sass monster. Storm, he says, Mom, you're talking too long. Okay, well, Storm's cutting me off, but thank you for watching. We appreciate you very much, and we hope you enjoyed the video. So, like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next. Ready, Storm? Storm, come here. Oh. Sir, give me a kiss. Say bye bye. Kiss, kiss. 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 <laughs> okay, ready, Storm? Come here. Give me a kiss. Kiss. Storm kiss. Good boy. <laughs> That's another trick we're working on. But I haven't worked on that one in a while. So, yeah. <laughs> All you see is this blanket. Well, bye. Love you. Storm, don't knock over my people.